Fayyad became an entrepreneur against all odds. The remote Imbobiu community now has access to a fully equipped medical facility. Mary is an orphan who is accomplishing her dreams and changing her circumstances. Lawrence is an entrepreneur who cited his factory in Alagoton community because it had a hard road. Naomi learned a skill that now serves her means of livelihood. Dauda is now living his life to the fullest. Chief Onusheson no longer looks into the river in despair. Prince and his community members now enjoy clean pipe or water. Abdullahi has found joy in agriculture. All they needed was an opportunity. Lafarge Africa PLC provided it through CSR initiatives impacting over 1.3 million people across its host communities. The true economic growth of a nation is reflected in the state of critical sectors such as health, education, infrastructure and the quality of lives that its citizens need. As a result of the company's firm belief and support for female empowerment, Kafayat, Naomi and Balkis were encouraged to learn new skills and unlock infinite possibilities through Lafarge Africa's skill acquisition. Fortunately for me, Lafarge helped me. I was able to get my own shop after I finished learning the MA here. <laughs> Males such as Good News also benefited from the program. Fight Africa provided soccer for Umbobui community and reduced the mortality rate through the provision of a standard health center in their community. Egbado Ajegule, Aruba, Latawa, Ashaka and Meiganga communities are also benefiting from this initiative. I give kudos to Lavage because they really try, because this facet has really helped the community in so many ways. What is important about the projects we take is that the community themselves come up with uh, the project that will most impact them on an annual basis and then we go along with this uh, project. We don't collect not a single cobble from any patient. So any patient that comes, whether from community, anywhere, we see them free.
Lafarge Africa offered scholarships to Mary and many others, making their dreams come true. When I started school, I'm an orphan. It was difficult for me to pay fees, pay other dues in school, like departmental dues. But when I came in touch with the Lafarge Africa, they supported me, paid my fees. Lafarge Africa prioritizes education as the best legacy for future leaders. The company constructed, renovated, and equipped some schools in the following communities. Atoyo Obuba, Bula Geidam, Jalingo, Ojumele, and Akasoko. Lafarge Africa also furnished and equipped the Jam Center in Bajoga. Wesley Primary School is uh an ancient uh, school that was nothing to write to me about. It has been decay. Not until the, 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 the uh, Lafarge intervened in the affair of that school, then we can now see a new facelift. The coming of the Jam Center here, it makes life easier for them. So it's easily accessible. So even people that lose hope in going to school, people that lose hope in writing Jam, considering this distance and some of the expenses in Korea, now they find it very easy. Through the Lafarge African National Literacy Competition, Lafarge has empowered Hassan and over 700,000 direct and indirect beneficiaries across 544 local governments since inception in 2014. Lafarge Africa is building a solid future for professional cement technicians like Oduwaye and apprentice cement technicians like Favor, Idris, and a host of other beneficiaries drawn from the company's host communities. Before coming into this program, sir, I'm not much aware about safety, so now I know how to handle things based on safety, even at home and at school. Going on to the mechanical, the electrical, the automation, and the technical part, even the theoretical aspect of everything, We've been able to be exposed into machining and fitting. Roads are the arteries through which the economy beats. Roads are very vital to any development agenda. Lawrence had his limitations, but with Lafarge Africa, he was able to transform them into many abilities. We deal with uh, Trump to come and offload the market. But at the end of the day, if they make it easier, they don't have any complaint, no complaint, because the good road, they won't come. Lafarge Africa connected with the hearts of Dauda and his people, the Oko Okeshekoni community in Ogun State, by providing comfortable homes in a conducive environment which have helped to improve their way of life. Lafarge Africa opened up Soindo community where Chief Onusha Song hails from by constructing a link bridge across the Ibu River, linking them up with their kith and kin. I personally have been suffering from that since since my youthful day. And you should realize then that we kids, those on our head, most, most especially firewood, carrying firewood to, to cross that, to track those long distance before getting to where we should have prayed for about 20 minutes. But this time around, just walk across. With this now, we have children, we have schools, secondary school, like two over there. So all these the people now use this bridge. Together with Prince, Lafarge Africa challenged the status quo in Ikot Oyam by providing easily accessible clean water with the construction of a borehole for his community. We will work in two aspects. One is empowering the women in this community, particularly the underprivileged women. So we will make some programs for them so that they become self-sufficient earning for their own livelihood. So Lafarge believes that access to electricity and light can radically improve people's lives and businesses. 
That is why they have provided standard transformers for communities like Oko, Okeshe, Kodni and Sabongiri in other to improve their way of life. Like Peshingo and uh, Argongila, even Badadi, they are now moved to the next level. Town Hall is one of the most significant structures that signifies enviable cultural heritage in Nigerian local communities. Lafaj Africa, as a company who honors the tradition of the people in our host communities, constructed and equipped their town halls. Alagunto, Iwekoro, Akansoko are some of the beneficiaries of this initiative. The people of Oloruru, Sabo Agura, have been for so long plagued by the menace of erosion, especially during the rainy season. Hence the construction of this culvert by Lafarge Africa, which has eased their pains. Lafarge Africa is conscious about the sustainability of the environment. That's why the company is committed to continuously improving its environmental performance and making a positive contribution to the betterment of the environment where it operates. With the Agric Ecology Project, Lafarge Africa has empowered Abdullahi and many others in Ashaka to be able to provide for their families and the nation. Through the My Ganga Wetland Project, a consolidation of the five year My Ganga coal mine rehabilitation works. Lafaj Africa is making treated water available to the people of Meganga community. The launch of GeoCycle in Nigeria illustrates Lafaj's commitment to build a circular economy that reaches beyond the building materials sector. Over the years, Lafaj Africa has hosted its annual Community Day celebrations across its host communities. The celebrations are organized in appreciation of the company's host communities and often feature various activities such as the donation of health centers, commissioning of electrification and transformer substations, presentation of bursaries to indigent students within the communities, donation of primary schools and health centers, donation of motorcycles, tricycles and other social amenities that support the growth and development of the host communities. A lot today is being done um, in terms of CSR. Uh, we, we, we have budget, annual budget for CSR for Shagamu community and lots are done. For Lafarge Africa, its people, employees, customers, shareholders, host community members and other stakeholders remain at the core of its endeavors. Lafarge Olson Africa PLC has been a very good company in our community. They have, I would say, lived up to their social responsibility. While Lafarge Africa continues to build an enduring legacy, it is safe to say the future is bright as the company continues to press on with its sustainable business practices and initiatives aimed at improving the quality of lives within the communities it operates.